Hello from Chinature.com, this is Mark Josie, and today I want to do a little review and also a chrony test and shot count test with this uh, 4.5mm air pistol. This is the Walter PPS and it's a blowback pistol by the Umarex and it's new for 2014. So I already did a review for this gun. It's very nice, uh, nice snappy little pistol, very compact size. Uh, plastic lower frame and also a no not not plastic this is a metal trigger metal slide of course moving slide and it's a blowback gun okay so basically you take out the stick mag and there we go okay so this gun um, my opinion is the the gun is very nice itself and uh, it feels great in hand when you hold it it feels so compact and uh, actually it feels great but the power is not very powerful uh, when tested on the soup can and stuff so today we will look at some real numbers okay so no forget about that okay so we will look at some real numbers and um, the CO2 compartment is great because it uses so little space for um, for the CO2 storage. So here we will be using Liz CO2. Liz brand is one of the best CO2 I can find right now. Liz, the company makes CO2 for food and beverages and so it's very clean. I'm not sure if these are also used in their food and beverages but anyway so basically it's a super 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 clean thing. Okay and the innovative part, innovative part is that they include the tool right here on the grip. So basically use this to screw in the CO2, which is what I like very much. So you won't be worrying that, oh, I forgot to bring my Allen wrench to my friend's house. Oh crap. <laughs> okay, so this is very good. And it's very easy to puncture the CO2. Uh, no hassle, no leaks, whatever. So very easy. And you basically, after you puncture it, you just slide it back on. And uh, there we go, it's spring loaded too, so it's very secure. The sights, they're okay, and uh, you got a white dot sight there. So the magazine, okay, let's count how many shots is in one magazine together, and then we'll be shooting Umarex brand steel BBs today. So I got a tin can of these here. I'll load them up with you guys and uh, start counting, okay? So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, whoops, eight, nine, ten. Oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we'll do 18 shots per meg, and later on, you guys can count how many shots. Okay, so 18 shots per meg and uh, let's try it out okay so this is i'm just going to keep shooting and you guys can look at my chronograph okay chronograph and we have a crony here set up with two red light red led and they're extremely good they provide nice consistent readings and which is what i like so much about this thing okay so now you can take a look at the result of the chronograph okay let me zoom in a little bit downward okay so hey guys let's try it out this is our um, first shot okay 18 shots for a magazine should be good Whew. okay guys let's give it a shot loud wow 393.1 that is awesome 394 392 Woo! Almost 400 FPS with a blowback pistol. What do you want? 387.5 I mean, like if you want a blowback pistol, usually it's around the 300 FPS This guy is really hard hitting 381 I mean 383 sorry Amazing 378 it's dropping a little bit but it's still fine 
and usually for these guns uh, when you see people do reviews of it they only show you the first 10 shots which is not fair because the shots will go down as you shoot and they never show you the real number so okay 364.7 366 it's pretty good Straight above 350 which is very nice the kick is not very very hard but it's just good enough for like giving you the amount of fun like you know that it did blow back it's snappy okay okay last shot now 357.5 we got a low of 357.5 which is the last shot and a high of 369.4 which is we we only count 10 shot strings here okay so exclude the first uh, eight shots so 362.5 is the average okay so I would say that if you count the first uh, first eight or ten powerful shots it will be a bit the shots will be more powerful like you can expect the average should be like 380 380 something yeah about that okay so right now we'll be shooting another mag so taking my time to load it because we don't want to uh, have the steel to freeze up and all that so I'll talk a bit while we load as well so that you can enjoy my talking <laughs> so Basically the gun is performing very well for the first 8 shots and then it starts to die down to 360-ish which is okay and um, I think that for such a blowback pistol it's very 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 reasonable. Okay now I loaded my uh, second mag up. Mag in. Let's go. Second mag. Now we jump back up to the 370. 369 364 about that 364 364 wow jackpot 361.7 I really like the feeling of the grip of this gun it has some dots kind of texture and it makes you feel the grip very well. 359. Not bad, you see, it's very consistent. 359.4. Let's take a look at this. Second mag. Low 359.2, a high of 370.5, and average of 363.5. Okay, let's try to shoot one more. Oh, you can't do that. Never mind. 361 357 355 no joke this gun is very consistent 353 354 350 hey I'm out 351 so you can see you don't even need to press the button right it's all around the um, 350 ish kind of FPS so it's, it's very very understandable right okay so you guys know that it's very un uh, like very obvious right now and I don't think I even need to like tell you oh it's very consistent huh okay <laughs> so let me reload my third magazine wow this gun is performing great today and uh, you can see the FPS is staying like at the same level not dropping below that it's really amazing usually you see with those uh, more realistic replicas like the KWC um, 1911 kind of thing you get about 300 FPS uh, for the first few shots and then as you move on you drop to like 280 or something that's really normal but this gun has blowback and it gives you 350 something wow amazing eh okay reset the crony and let's check it out guys 367 
363. Amazing. 359. Don't you love this? 359. Let's keep, keep going there. 356. 0.9. Woo. Bounce. 357. Amazing, eh? 356. 354. Wow, consistent. It's not going below 350. And I'm on my third magazine. Woo. 351. Keep going. Come on, the 353 is not dropping below 350. Wow. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, you can't really give a compliment, you see? It happened. Things happen. See, it just started to act up again. So I show you, you know, give it a frown kind of thing. Woo. Staying around 350. Wow. We are on the third magazine and it's performing great. Look at that. Very consistent. Very, very consistent power. And it's still locked back on the last round. So you see, we're always about the 350s, 350s. 350, 350 kind of FPS. Woo! On the fourth magazine now. Usually with a uh, replica like the GSG or Swiss Arm 92, um, 6 hour P226 kind of thing. For one CO2, you get like 2.2 mags or 2.5 mags of shot. Not a lot of shot. The blowback is harder, but. It doesn't give that much shot for CO2 and right now we are already on our fourth magazine and it's still shooting harder than those at the first mag so you see this is really nice I know the blowback is not the best but it's still very fun now let's check it out we're on the fourth mag okay so we reset the crony and let's get going Doo -doo. Wow 359 again wow look at that all of a sudden it starts to give you power see 357 can you hear that bounce back <laughs> 355 356 you see it keep going around that kind of range 354 very consistent wow you know what you gotta buy two of these guns 353.2 it's it's like really insane like they must have a nice regulator or something right <laughs> look at that it's regulating around that 351 what do you expect 351.5 350 I'm happy just seeing the numbers you know 347 346 345 okay reasonable eh on the fourth mag of course 341 343 341 341 again don't forget that I'm shooting kind of fast okay lowest is 342 okay you know like this is my fifth magazine right now on a blowback 4.5 mm blowback air pistol and this is like really insane good you see with those kwc kind of thing you get like two mags or so out of one co2 and then this one here we're getting the fifth magazine and it's still shooting harder than those those guns on the first mag wow you see those guns they get like the first magazine it also you know shoot about 320 ish something like that only and the highest you can find is like 3 three thirty something not more than that but right here you see this gun performs great okay fifth magazine Woo. happy to see the numbers at least okay it's going back to 351 again and that is insane cool 352 we are on the fifth magazine wow <laughs> 352 did they put a regulator here or something 351 wow 
You see this gun is like really so consistent. 349. I think it's so fair to say this gun shoots average of 350 FPS or 360. It's really, really fair. Look at that. 346. And it's still kicking hard too. The kick is it's not weakening and it's still cycling properly. Love it. 346.6. Come on, it's giving me a feels 346 already. 345. The blowback is still uh, like the same power. Very nice. 343. 343.8. Woo, 343. Very nice. 341. It's not dropping below the 300 mark yet, so that's pretty good. 339.7. Hey, you guys think I can like give it a five second rest and then it will come back? One, two, three, four, five. 344.5, look at that. Amazing, my last shot. 343.8. Now we're on a six magazine. Six mag, imagine that guys. Six. Number six, woo! And you can still shoot above 300 FPS, which is, again, much harder hitting than those KWC blowback replicas, and also harder hitting than a Red Rider, JC Red Rider, which shoots about uh, 300 FPS-ish. Um, yeah, so this is really good, you see? You got a lot of shots out of one CO2, and the shot is very consistent, and with this kind of power, around 340 something, it's even better than the Walther CB99 Compact. And uh, it's more powerful, it kicks better, better uh, feeling in hand. Wow, great improvement. Okay, so let's see. So I must say that the, the air guns technology and design improved a lot with uh, this kind of consistency. Okay, let's try. 356.9 holy cow look at that hey guys 355 we're seeing 350 again hello 350 <laughs> wow 353 this thing is so cool we're on the sixth magazine and it's still shooting at the 350s range and I'm shooting like shot after shot, shot after shot like that. Okay, 349. I'm not trying to like baby the gun or something like that, you see? I'm trying to shoot as much as possible, as fast as possible. 346. Very nice. 345. 341. Keep going, guys. 340. Woo! 343, 340.2, 337.6, I'm shooting faster, 337.4, and it's still cycling properly, that's the fun thing, 338.4, wow, 337, and this is my last round, 336.6, and it still locked back on the last round, you see? It locked back on the last round. And this is amazing. We're on the 7th magazine. 7th mag. Come on, guys. Like, how can you imagine 7 magazine out of a blowback BB gun? And each magazine, we're shooting like 18 shots. That is like, wow. <laughs> a lot of shots. You're getting over 80 shots already, and it's a blowback pistol. Come on, blowback, man. You're using all the gas on the blowback, and it's still giving you that consistent shot. Woo, amazing. It's like really, really amazing. Okay, now let us uh, center the camera. Okay, guys, 8th magazine, number 8. Let's try it out. 351.6 wow can you imagine that 347.7 it's like you will be tired of shooting and a gun won't be tired of giving you high power Woo. 
Nice. I like it. 346.2. 338.8. Okay, 342.9. The gun, the blowback right now is kind of a little bit weaker than uh, we, when we start, but it's still there and it's still working. So 337.4. You definitely do feel the gun blowback. 338.2 It's getting weaker. 328.3 327.9 I guess the 8th magazine is the last one. I guess. 331.1 Woo! 329.2 329.2 321.5 319.5 Okay, now it's dropping to the power of a Red Rider, which is still very cool. 316.6 Amazing, eh? 313 My last round, 309.3 And my, my magazine is out and I can still lock back on the last round. So there's no problem with the lock back mechanism. So that means that the gun is still blow back kicking hard enough to kick in that power to uh, lock the slide back. Amazing, eh? Okay. Now we'll be loading up a few more shots. Of course, this is my our ninth magazine. I'll be surprised if we can make it to the tenth, but I don't think so. So, uh, yeah, maybe nine, nine magazines out of it. It's pretty good already. Okay, let me... Okay, 18 shots loaded. Okay, check it out guys. This is our last, should be the last magazine out of a CO2. If, if, okay, this shot here will give us 340 something, I'll be very shocked. But, let's see. Nah, 309. Okay, this is really the end. Can't feel it. 305. Okay, let's finish it up, guys. 300.9. 296. Ah, uh, the end. 291. 288. 286. You can still shoot, right? So it's not dead yet. 279.6 That is the power of a Crossman Pro 77 275 You know the Crossman Pro 77 and Pro Black Pistol It shoots about 260 something FPS uh, Constantly so It's really crappy 275 Still good Can still shoot it 267 264 uh, 260 Surprising the gun is still cycling properly 260 255 that's the that's the FPS of my uh, Daisy Avanti BB gun <laughs> the rifle 252 and 247 is still locked back on the last mega last round you see it's still locked back on the last round and that is amazing okay i think i'm out so i won't shoot ammo okay last shot it fought it out of the air and we're done okay guys very amazing gun very amazing okay let's come back to our main screen <laughs> okay guys so thank you for watching you see the gun okay let's check it uh where have i okay, no more ammo and of course you can't really see through it but no more ammo see you fought out the air and that's it so you don't have enough air to play now let's unscrew this out a little bit of gas not a lot very 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 co2 efficient i must say that this is like super cool the whole punch into the CO2 is awesomely, it's awesomely clean. See, 
it's awesomely clean and it's so perfectly round very nice okay so we got like what nine magazine out of this gun with each magazine loaded to the top 18 rounds amazing over 100 shots Woo! <laughs> crazy stuff and uh, it's a blowback pistol don't forget that it's a metal metal slide so there's some weight to the metal of course and it needs to go all the way here and back here and back here and back and at the end we can still have the last round lock back on on the slide and which is like super cool we have all the features ergonomic feeling um all that features with the uh metal slide uh drop out magazine powerful shot consistency co2 efficient this gun i'll give it 10 out of 10 and i would say that the accuracy of this gun is pretty okay it's like not very bad and um if you put a laser on here you'll see the accuracy improve because the problem is the gun is small and when you hold it okay it's very easy to make little tiny tiny movement and shakes while you shoot and so you don't realize it but if you have a laser you can see it on the target so that you you can see oh my hand did move and uh, if your hand doesn't move or shake or vibrate okay your shots will land land in a pretty tight grouping with this gun so yeah 10 out of 10 really nice really nice okay so now you see why i like this gun so much it's so good feeling in the hand and it's so good uh co2 efficiency i i must say that like to the to the end okay um after shooting all that bbs my finger is tired and the gun is not so <laughs> that is really cool and if you really like you know guns with a lot of shots this is awesome and uh the power is very awesome you know the um older umrex guns like the uh walther cp99 compact um yeah those stuff they're also blowback but they they don't give a consistent power usually they like when you shoot to the middle it's about two uh sorry four uh 340 to 330 fps ish and that's about the power but they claim to be uh 360 and they don't cycle properly after like if you shoot three mags or so they don't cycle properly so sometimes you have to pop the gun and then shoot again and uh, that's kind of annoying this one here this model totally eliminate that kind of problem i can shoot from beginning to the end without having to cock the gun once and it's really amazing like the design on this thing is much better than the stuff before and i'm gonna say that wow improved a lot so okay thank you for watching remember to subscribe and like <laughs> bye